It is cold right now. I'm trying to hurry up and get in my truck. It's raining. It's 38 degrees. It's supposed to be at the range right now. But instead I'm dealing with this. So uh, so much for that. Let's see if we can get a cold start. There we go. Dun. All right. So I'm actually headed to a meeting right now. Well, I'm stopping somewhere really quick. I'm gonna try to go get a hat made. And I've gotten one hat made before. This is my logo for this channel. But I didn't feel like I wanted to really brand this logo too much. It is the logo that you guys see in the beginning of my vlogs. But I didn't know how you guys felt about wearing my initials everywhere. So that's why I just recently talked about the Wolfpack and talked about the Wolf logo being kind of the new logo for this channel. And uh, I think that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna try to get a Wolfpack logo hat made and then I gotta go to a meeting. So that's where we're starting. It's kind of weird doing a vlog when I really don't have a lot going on. Uh, I wanna keep you guys in the loop with everything that we do have going on, everything that I'm doing. But a lot of my stuff here recently has just been work related. And if I'm not working, then I'm working on stuff for this channel. But I mean, I don't think you guys want to see me designing, you know, logos and, uh, and I'm thinking about doing a website so that I can put all of this stuff together so it'll link my patreon account it'll link my podcast it'll link my youtube channel it'll link my teespring account like all these things that i have going on you guys you know can click in the link in the description and see most of those things but i wanted a more generalized location something that looked a little bit better so you're not just having to go down in the description of all these videos to get all this information now I hope that you guys enjoy the stuff that I put out. All my content is similar in a sense, but then different. So all the family stuff that I do on this channel, I make random videos. And those are the videos that you, you guys will see that don't have my intro, don't have my outro. It's just kind of family stuff that we have going on. It's a vlog style video, but just videos that I like to put together so that years down the road, my nieces, my nephews, my cousins, everyone who's involved in these videos can go back and watch these and hopefully have um, you know good memories of everything that we've been doing. But I also want you guys to see it. I wanna keep you guys in the loop of what we have going on. And then we have my vlog style videos where you have my intro, you have my outro. Big shout out to my buddy Frank for making those for me. And those videos are me showing you guys what we have going on. Um, it's kind of like this right here. I get to talk to you guys. I get to put information out. You guys get to see what I'm doing. I'm not anybody famous. I'm not rich. I'm just a regular, normal guy who lives in Texas, who happens to be a police officer, who is a prior Marine. Like, you guys get to see how I go through things and how I go through life. So that's what the vlog part of this is for. Now, I didn't want to have to make a whole nother channel for the gun stuff that I like, but I started making gun videos and I wanted to have a place or at least a time where I can put videos out for you guys and y'all can see the kind of guns that I like, the kind of guns that I'm buying, what I'm doing to those guns, um, flashlights, like I said, anything tactical. That's why we call it Tactical Talks. And that comes out every Friday for those of you who don't know that or don't realize that every Friday we do put out a Tactical Talks video. Um, so that's that kind of content. My podcast, as of right now, is called I Can't Lose. Um, again, if you check the link in the description, you guys will be able to see that. And that's more of a personal deal that I just didn't feel like was 100% fitting for YouTube. Not that there's anything wrong with that content, but it's kind of like you can, you can sit down, you can drive, 
you can be doing something and not have to worry about watching a video of me just sitting there talking similar to what I'm doing now. But those conversations are more in depth of me opening up about who I am and what I've been through and kind of explaining, you know, why that, why I felt that was an important part of my life and why I'm talking about it. So then you have the podcast. Then from there you have my merch store, um, which is being run through Teespring as of right now. And what that is, is those are original designs, designs that I came up with personally. Hopefully it's something that you guys like as well. Um, I know I've sold some stuff on there already. It's still new, still trying to get the word out there. So I think it's something that you guys like. It's kind of a way for you to kind of connect with me a little bit more personal, um, as well as, like I said, showing your support. And you guys get some, what I think is really cool, you know, merchandise, you know, shirts. I got decals coming. There's hoodies on there. There's women's shirts. There's, um, hopefully hats are coming soon. It's, it's been a process. There's still a lot that I have to learn about buying merch and having merch available for you guys to order and putting all that stuff together. So it's, it's a process. I'm learning as I go. Like I said before, I'm just a regular person who started making YouTube videos and then who's just fallen in love with this whole YouTube community and this whole YouTube lifestyle. So that's something else that we are doing. Um, and I think that's it as far as right now of what I have going on for me and ways that you guys can learn more about me, see more about me, connect with me personally. I don't know if there's something else that you guys want to see. If you guys have any ideas. Um, I know a lot of you guys that watch these videos come from all walks of life. A lot of you know a lot more about advertising, you know a lot more about designing. I'm just kind of doing what I can, working with what I have. But if you have a better way of doing things, hit me up, let me know. I'm more than happy to, to listen to what you have going on and take your suggestions and try to be better for you guys. So I'm almost where I need to be. Give me a second and I'll get right back with you. Volunteering time. So I've done videos on it before. We go out, I like to volunteer, especially wearing my uniform, um, anything work related that I can go and volunteer. I like doing it just because I want to show all these kids that we are the good guy. You know, I want to I want to make sure that these kids know that if they need something that they can come to us. So the event that we're doing right now or that I'm headed to is called Blue Santa. And it's kind of like in some of y'all's areas, y'all might call it shop with the cop. That's pretty much what this is. People donate money to less fortunate families and less fortunate kids. And us as officers come out we get to show all these kids and these families like, hey, look, we're here for you. Um, we take these kids shopping and we let them pick what they want. Um, it's not about what the parents want or what, uh, you know, what the parents think would be a good idea for a Christmas gift. It's all about the kids and whatever they want for Christmas. So that's where we're headed to right now. I'm going to try to get some video while I'm in there. It's a little bit chaotic when we're in there. There's a lot of stuff going on, trying to get people in, trying to get people out, um, as well as... I don't know if all these kids want to be, you know, on camera. So I'll try to see what I can do, but I'm not going to make any promises. Morning, Operation Blue Santa took place. The San Angelo Coalition of Police started this heartwarming event 12 years ago. About 40 children from local elementary schools were selected and invited to participate. Upon arrival, the children are paired up with a police officer and are given $250 to spend on Christmas presents. This is a donation-based program. Officers are grateful for this opportunity to give back to the community and view it as a chance to connect with the younger generations. I wasn't able to get too much um, filming done while we were doing Operation Blue Santa. I am at work right now. I'm on my lunch break, but I wanted to get with touch base with you guys and let you guys know that I did another event today and I kind of heard about it last minute and I was told to go to this event and I ended up going to our local women's shelter and I got to go with a bunch of other officers and a bunch of really nice people who people donated money and presents were bought for these families who are living in these women's shelters because they were abused or victims of some kind of domestic violence and may not have had a Christmas. So I got to be part of that today and I just volunteered a little bit of my time 
to go and hand out presents to all these kids and it was just amazing amazing deal so that's kind of where we're going to leave this video i know we didn't do a lot i mean i did stuff but i couldn't film a lot of it i didn't want to put these kids on blast like that or put these families on camera after everything they've been through it was just something that i was able to, to be a part of so i'm very grateful for that i'm going to end on a clip of me dressed up as the grinch i'm going to leave the link down in the description i don't know if i mention it but the link is going to be down in the description to go check out a youtube channel my buddy frank's um go check that out and subscribe all right so i don't know if you guys can see me or hear me the video may or may not already be out but we are finishing filming the K9 video, so I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. Go and check that video out.